friends this is Pramin and today we are going to learn about the fiber to fabric. Fabric means the growth. First the question around to your mind is why do we need to wear clothes? We need wear uh, to clothes to prevent ourselves from the hard temperatures and even the hard calamities. So first uh, in the previous class, we have learned about the uh, natural fibers. So, fibers are divided into two parts. These are natural and artificial fiber. In the natural fibers, it is again divided into two parts. Land base and Animal base. So in previous class we have learned about the plant fiber, and uh, today we are going to learn about the animal fiber. So the two major types of the animal fiber are the wool and the silk. So first learn about the wool. When do we wear the woolen clothes? In winter. Why? Why the woolen clothes are preferred in the winter? Because it is a bad conductor of the heat. Just like this is a layer of wool and here is the sunlight. The heat is here. It goes astray from here and get here. Then uh, it is a bad insulator, so it will not allow the heat to go out, it will reflect it again inside, uh, making here uh, the environment uh, cooler. So, woolens I prefer, they are stretchable and uh, wrinkle proof, they do not wrinkle easily. Then, uh, what are the animals from which uh, we are obtaining the wool? The major Parts of the wool comes from the sheep. The types of sheep found in the India are, or the breeds of the in, sheep breeds in India are, Lohi he is a sheep breed which is found in Rajasthan and also some parts of the Punjab. And Rampur Bisar is found in the Himachal Pradesh and even in Uttar Pradesh which is UP. Nali, Nali is the Indian breed which is found in the Punjab, some parts of the Rajasthan and the Haryana. Then uh, we have Bakarwal. Bakarwal is the another type of the sheep breed found in the India. It is mostly found in the Jammu and Kashmir. Then uh, both the Marwadi and Pata, Patnahawadi are found in the states of Gujarat. So what are the characteristics of these? Let's learn about. The Lohi is the uh, fine production of the wool Rampur Bisar uh, Rampur is the is the brown color uh, fleece what are the fleece? fleece are the hair of the sheep then what is the difference between the sheep fleece and the wool wool is formed after the fleece has been uh, go through or made into fiber then it is called a wool before it is called a fleece. This which is nali is a coarse which is smooth you know smooth and the bakarwal is somewhat stretchable most stretchable uh, one of the most stretchable wool. So like this then we have is a goat. Yes goats also gives us a wool. Examples of the Kashmir goat. Kashmir goat reduce the 
a best quality wool camel just like bacterian camel alfana are the good examples of the camel rabbits like angora rabbit which are found in angora and spen which are good examples of the angora rabbit which also produce the finest uh, finest wool quality yak yak is another which is found in the uh, snowy area and its wool is also a very good this is a species of the cow then we have the rear rearing of wool rearing of the wool first for rearing of wool the important source we have to find is the wool or the sheep the best quality is of the wool ever produced in the world is of the merino uh, sheep which is found in the mostly found in the australia rearing how to do a rearing what is a rearing a rearing is a process of taking a care of all the cattle in the wool rearing we mostly mean by the animals which gives us the wool just the they should be given a diet which has a most amount of the fats examples of this are oil oil remains from which the first oil is extracted and the wet material which is there because fats help us to keep the their body warm then we have is a breeding breeding is one of the important care just like there is a breed of a sheep which is anti disease which do not get disease easily anti disease and one of which is a but this do not gives a good quality so it has not good quality wool not good wool and this has a good wool but a bad type so when the dna of the sheep which is sheep b and sheep a is put together a new offspring is formed with the both the characters which is anti disease and the good wool so like this the breeding is done by the how to produce the best quality wool and i talk about the anti disease the house of the sheep or the animals which produce should be ventilated ventilated means from which the light and air should come in because when they live at a particular area Uh, they excrete the toxic waste and which are bacterial or infection for their the their health so sunlight also contain uv rays ultraviolet rays which kills this bacteria uh, and uh, the they got a vitamin d also just like the the sheep or the animal which produce wool should be well ventilated then uh, we have this production how to product a wool first there is a animal fiber we have to take out its fleece so this process is, is called shearing the shearing is a process of the taking the or cutting the fleece from the animal in this the person who do it is called shearer and this just like this is the skin of the sheep so the hairs which are close to the sheep are very smooth and silky and the outer are somewhat rough so oh, the shearer cuts the some of the skin with the the shear wool but this not harm it is mostly done in the summers because from 
winters they have to get protected from the harsh weather climate then uh, after the shearing the the second method come which is scoring scoring is washing the fleece which have this is done by mixing the detergent or soap which is an alkali so what is an alkali a alkali is the acid which is mixed with the water so after washing that uh, this fleece should have some uh, damage to here which is removed in the process of sorting this is mostly done by hands manually done by hands then uh, after this then is a grinding in this grinding uh, the wool is sort according to their length color texture etc after this uh, the wool is ready to color so how uh, this process is called dyeing how they do it they first heat up the color and put uh, the fleece all in there then uh, it is dried or and squeezed by the rollers after then it is transferred to the large mill where it is the spinning what is the spinning a spinning is a method of uh, twisting the two fibers together uh, fibers together then uh, it is done into weaving the larger parts are done weaving and the smaller parts are doing knitting and can be converted into the sweaters or the woolen clothes small shredded fibers then uh, what are the health hazards <coughs> what are the health hazards faced by the workers of the factory which produce wool first these are these are they have to face lots of problem like the skin disease which is called bacteria present in the wool have effect them and the breathing problem and even listening problems because the machine which works in the fiber production has made lots of sound then we have the silk silk is the most the there is a phase as smooth as the silk the silk is very smooth fiber this comes from the cost of life first this silk comes from a, a animal insect which is called moth silk moth first then we have the life cycle of moth then the moth first produce the egg egg after producing the egg the the eggs are kept for the hatching after hatching the caterpillars are formed then after the caterpillars are formed they again go into the adult after then the mating is done and then again this cycle goes on so this is the life cycle of the silk worm then we have seen sericulture what is a sericulture a sericulture is a process of rearing and production of the silk first rearing rearing how does it we rear the silk first the a uh, female moth produces about more than 100 eggs which are kept in a paper and they are sold to the farmers who take them after they are placed in a, a normal and normal temperature which hatches the eggs and after the hatches, hatching of the eggs these the caterpillars come out they are feed for about 25 to 35 days after this the after this the the wool the silk is ready the 
Caterpillars are ready to spin the cocoon. They spin their head about in an eight format, about more than two billion times to produce a cocoon. And uh, these cocoon are boiled. After this, the cocoon are boiled so oh, that the so that the cocoon do not burst out when the caterpillars are coming out. So caterpillars inside dies. Then we are doing reeling. A reeling, reeling is a process of removing out a single single fiber from the each cocoon. Do you know we need about five thousand cocoons to be killed to make only a one kg of silk. One kg of silk. So when this silk were introduced, this silk were introduced in the China by the emperor once. The emperor and the empress were drinking a tree tea and the suddenly a cocoon fall into their tea. So she tries to uh, take the cocoon out with uh, slowly and gently. Once she was taking out the the uh, thread which is called uh, the fiber and when she weave it she saw that the this one the very fine very fine fabric. This was remained uh, the secret in China about 1000 years ago. Then the empress of the that China uh, do not want to leave the fiber and bang and this bang was out of law that then it transferred to the whole world. This is it. Then we have this types of cell. The types of cells which are found in India is the uh, name mm, of the leaves they are feed on. First, there is a mulberry leaves which produce the finest quality of the silk. Some more examples of these are tesar or etc. Then uh, we have the health hazards. The health hazards of the silk is same to the the wool silk hazard. They also face the breathing problem, lung uh, problem in lungs, skin diseases, skin infections, uh, problem in the eyes, etc. So friends, what we learned today, let's revise. We learned about the animal fiber today, which is wool, and which animal produce the wool, which is sheep, goat, types of sheep. We learned about the sheep found in India. Camel, rabbit, yeah. We learn about the rearing of the wool, how to breed it, how is the production done. The methods are search. First step is shearing, second scoring, third sorting, fourth grinding, fifth dyeing, sixth drying, seventh spinning, eighth knitting or weaving. Then we learn about the what are the difficulties or the health hazards faced by the workers of the wool factory then we learn about the silk the lifespan of the moth life cycle of this then sericulture what is sericulture what is rearing what is boiling what is rearing then how many types of the silks are produced in the country and we learn about the health hazards of the silk so friends, I hope that you like this video and at the last, thanks for watching.